For cheap and fast coins, check out igvault.com and use code HABER to get yourself a 6% discount. Link and discount code is in the description. Welcome to a brand new video. As you guys know, we are in January of 2019. And as you guys already know, if you guys have played FIFA for a little over a year, you'd know that in January, Team of the Year drops. Team of the Year being the time where we get extremely juiced cards that have been nominated by the community and voted for by the community to get a huge, huge upgrade and we get some incredible blue looking cards, which I'm excited for. So today we're going to be voting for my Team of the Year and talking about some incredible ways to make some coins over the Team of the Year period. If you didn't know, we have a confirmed date for Team of the Year and it is the 7th. EA posted a bunch of stuff on Twitter yesterday. They started with this tweet saying the 55 Team of the Year nominees have been revealed and you can see all of them with the hashtag for hashtag FIFA19 and hashtag Team of the Year vote. They also sent special care packages out to some of the top YouTubers. For example, I think Bateson got one. Uh, Matt HD Gamer got one. The F2 Freestylers got one. Uh, Tucson got one. And I can't remember the rest. I just haven't stayed that in tune with it. Uh, but we do have the website here. And as you see, we have the ballot box. We have the nominees. This is what the YouTubers got. It's almost like a guess who looking board. But it's like really cool because you get to put like the Metal Team of the Year items on there. Um, and as you can see here, we've got all the nominees. The defender, sorry, the goalkeeper nominees are Alison, Oblak, De Gea, Lloris, and Courtois. The defender nominees are these marble, and I'm joking. Uh, they are Jordi Alba, Carvajal, Godin, Kimmich, Chiellini, Umtiti, Kabali, Kulabali, Marcelo, Tio Hernandez, I can't even speak, Nandez, um, Manolas, Sergio Ramos, Tiago Silva, Hummel, Trippier, Varane, Van Dijk, Vertonghen, Kyle Walker, Basalco, and Lo, Lo, De, Dayan Lovren, De, De, Dayan Lovren, Vesalco, but Dayan Lovren. <laughs> they also had this on there that said the final team of the year team will be announced starting on January 7th with special team of the year items available in packs for a limited time in FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. I don't know why I said it like that, uh, but they also released a video and there was, this is a screenshot from the game, uh, you know, the game store. If you guys aren't from the UK, it's just a popular game store. Uh, the game video said they'll also be made available in game on this date too. And they're referring to January 7th. So we are getting team of the year in approximately four days. Monday the 7th is when we get team of the year. I'm super excited. I'm super pumped. And I think it's going to be great. In terms of more nominees, the midfielders are Casemiro, Pogba, David Silva, Isco, De Bruyne, Dybala, Fernandinho, Rakitic, Kante, Cruz, Modric, Matuidi, Sergio, Biscuits, Perisic and Royce. And the attackers are Aguero, Cavani, Griezmann, Hazard, Kane, Lewandowski, Mandzukic, Neymar, Mbappe, Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Suarez, Salah, Bale and Mane. Now, if you guys go over to Footwiz and log in to Footwiz, you guys can actually make your own team of the year and vote for the team of the year. So there's a community vote right now. I think it counts for about 40%, I think it is, or 60%. It's either 60 or 40%, I can't actually remember. Um, I'm sure it's probably the information's in here somewhere, but you can get started and actually get to vote on your team of the year, which I think is dope. So please select a goalkeeper. I'm gonna be going with De Gea. I want David De Gea as my goalkeeper. This is not, not just who I think's the best, but also, you know the kind of players that I want um in terms of like consistency I'd say probably Ob Black's been a little bit better than De Gea this year but I still think De Gea is the best goalkeeper in the world maybe it's because I'm biased I'm a Man United fan um but I also want De Gea to get a team of the year item so it will take us now to the defenders you need to select four defenders in terms of plays I want I'm going to go with Ramos I'm going to go with Varane I'm going to go with Van Dijk oh I just clicked him twice and I'm going to go with Kyle Walker as my four defenders. I think that that's probably a great pick. I mean, you could argue perhaps that Koulibaly could get in there. You could argue perhaps that, I don't know, um, if Cancelo was an option, you could get in there. Kimmich could get in there. Kimmich had a really poor World Cup, though, which is why I'm sort of leaning away. Um, but you could also argue that Kyle Walker actually played centre-back in the World Cup as opposed to right-back. So I think these are four solid picks. And I want to hear who you think deserves a team of the year in the comments down below. Now, on to the midfielders. The midfielders now, we have got a choice of three midfielders. Now, this is probably a bit biased, but I'm going with Paul Pogba. I want Paul Pogba. That's why I'm going with him. Not because I think he deserves it over anybody else. I just want Paul Pogba. I'm also going to go with Modric and Kante. Now, I think De Bruyne deserves that over Pogba a million percent. But I want a team of the year, Paul Pogba. It's not about who I think deserves it more. It's who I want. Definitely De Bruyne deserves it more. And I know people are going to comment this. They're going to look who I picked and have the audio turned off or something and be like, wow, we did pick De Bruyne. De, De Bruyne 100% deserves it way more. I just want Pogba. I just want Pogba. That That's that's it, you know. Um, and then three attackers for me. 
is going to be Mbappe. It's going to be Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, the next one is tough, all right? You could argue that Salah deserves it. You could argue that Griezmann should get in there. You could argue that Messi should get in there. I'm going to personally go for Neymar. And I again, I think it's a little bit more the fact that I want Neymar in it more than anything. But, you know, you could argue that any of those guys could get in it easily. Um, there's so many arguments for who could get in it, for example. Uh, but that is going to be my team of the year. So as you can see, my team of the year on Footwiz, uh, you can actually see your your link here. Uh, this is Ryan Haber selected for their team of the year. So I've gone with Neymar, Ronaldo, Mbappe. I've gone with Modric, Kante, Pogba. I've gone with Van Dijk, Varane, Ramos, uh, Walker and De Gea. That's my team of the year. Let me know who you think your team of the year is and vote via Footwiz. I'll leave a link to Footwiz down below. Vote. Make sure you vote because it's pretty important. I know what you're thinking, Ryan, how can we make coins? You just said how, how we could make coins. I just accidentally pressed the wrong button there. But how can we make coins? As you see, I've got 6.8 million coins. I'm a professional trader, top 100 trader. Uh, let's have a look at my transfer profit right now just to, you know, um, firm my, uh, my ability to trade. So if we go transfer profit right here, as you can see, I've got 11 million transfer profit and I am fourth in the world. This is not my friends. This is the world. In before someone takes that seriously. No, but uh, <laughs> in seriousness, the best way, in my opinion, to make coins over team of the year is try and anticipate the team of the year SBCs we're going to get. 81 and 82 plus, I think 100% are going to come out and maybe even league specific 25k packs. So your best bet right now is to try and pick up some uh, rare cards. You want to pick up some rare items for about 600, 650 on bid. You can easily get these. It's, it's pretty easy to get these on, on bid. I just searched by now by accident. Uh, you can easily get these on bid for 600, 650. Um, um, and when all of these uh, packs come out, they all go up to a thousand coins without fail. You will literally make at least three to four hundred coins per card. Now, say you've got like a hundred to two hundred. Uh, it might not seem like it's a lot in the minute, but a hundred cards there, and all it takes is you to bid on them and then sell them on for a thousand coins by now. That's like forty thousand coins. Now, I know it seems like a long process, but sometimes trading does take a long time. Now, if you're also intuitive and you are in tune with what happens, you are paying attention, for example, you will notice that players during lightning rounds will drop. I would say pick up a bunch of higher rated players. For example, I think we're going to get some SBCs. So you want to pick up some players like 85 to 87 rated cards, maybe even more. Um, as you see, I bought Chiellini actually. I bought him uh, during a time where he was uh, at a low point. I actually bought him, I think, like during Footmas lightning rounds. Uh, and as you can see, he's actually risen already for 5,000 ish coins more already like he, he's 59k at the minute so I've made like 8,000 coins and that in itself is just from like SBCs for example it's from the shorter supply um it's from just being able to buy in when he's in packs and selling him later on I don't think Banashia would have risen but he might have uh so we can actually quickly have a look at Banashia and see if he's risen up much at all uh and Banashia's risen up about a thousand coins so I personally say the best thing to do is uh pay like keep attentive to what's in the store and if you see the lightning rounds drop try and pick up those cards for a little bit cheaper maybe like three or four thousand coins below because that night when lightning rounds aren't there anymore people start doing sbcs because they get bored that's the best time to sell them you sell them for like four five six percent markup or even more than that if you're if you're lucky and you get some good deals so that's like the best advice i can give you in terms of trading um for you know maybe the lower lower end budgets for example that sort of stuff now, if you're feeling a bit frisky and you want to take a little bit more risks, I've actually got... The, now, these are pack pulled. I could have just sold these guys for like 20,000 coins each. I'm holding these cards because I think that these will actually get upgrades. I think that like 15,000 coins, I think it is for Pizzy. Let me quickly double check my math here uh, on foot bin. How much is Pizzy right now? 17,000 coins is way too cheap, first of all, for an 86 rated special card. And second of all, for a card that has a potential to get up to like 88, 89 rated. Uh, obviously, these cards up get upgraded based on their performances in the Europa League. So if, if, for example, Benfica get all the way to the semis of the final, this card will be an 88 rated card. You just have to be patient with the card. Uh, and I think that is a pretty good deal if you want to pick up some cards. Maybe you pick up like 5 or 10. You invest 100 to 200,000 coins. Uh, I'd say do it and just be patient with it. If you desperately need the coins sell uh obviously with trading i think the best thing you can get like a lot of people ask me when i should sell this card when i should sell that card sell when you need the coins and then you can just buy back or you can buy different things if players price if players prices rise 
Usually, players' prices rise collectively across the entire market and across the entire game. So if you're worried about selling someone for more now and then having to pick up other players, they're probably all going to rise anyway. So don't actually fear too much if a, you see a player uh, rising and you don't want to sell him. Uh, because, you know, I guarantee that the actual player that you are going to replace him with probably already, you know, is uh, is rising himself. So as you see, we already had a Pavon in my club uh, because I've been, uh, you know, on the, on the download, been uh, storing a load of rare in my club in, pre in preparation sorry for these SBCs. let me quickly show you my club actually like in terms of my club what i've got in the club that like, what i'm holding is a bunch of 85s and 84s and in preparation for SBCs. obviously as a content creator i like to actually make content on the SBCs and i complete all the SBCs. so i'm holding all these cards in preparation um as opposed to actually trying to make coins but i thought that my advice could actually help other people make coins so hopefully it does and hopefully you guys uh hopefully you guys do take my advice but um i am stocking the club up right now and obviously when packs come out i'll open a bunch of packs and store the plays from there so i'm probably gonna you know either if i wanted to sell these cards probably could make easily like a couple 100k from the cards i got in my club but uh you know i think i'm just gonna keep them anyway but hopefully it was useful to you guys thank you all for watching i really appreciate the support on the channel lately we are almost at 69,000 subscribers which is uh <laughs> giggity um but no i appreciate it thank you all for the support lately you guys are dope and i'll see you lads later